sometimes training can get boring because you forgot some moves. And today, I'm gonna take you through the top five movements in the gym that you've probably forgotten about, but should definitely be putting in your routine. First off, all you're gonna need is one of these bumper plates, a dumbbell, and we're gonna be doing the goblet squats. Goblet squats are a really simple and versatile movement that allow you to get a lot of depth and a lot of range on a squat to completely and utterly target the quads. This is one about control, close legs, keeping the dumbbell close to the chest. It helps maintain core strength as well as you have to maintain your upright position by keeping your rib cage down, core engaged. We're looking to drive through the heels, stop the feet from rocking, and we're also going to get a nice deep stretch at the bottom. Sometimes adding in a little bit of a bounce if you want to, just to help accentuate that stretch. Then we're firing up through the heels and driving through the hips. 10 to 15 reps, difference in weight should be the heavier the weight goes, the more the reps come down. This is a great movement for also preserving those knees. If you want big shoulders, you need big rear delts. They want to make them look 3D. And for that, I've got a great exercise that all you're gonna need is one of these, an Olympic bar. No idea what these are called, so we're gonna call them duck butt raises. Because you're gonna look like a duck whilst doing it. You're going to keep the bar behind the legs. You're going to bend over, letting your knees bend and keeping a neutral spine. You're gonna engage your core, keeping the ribs down. If it helps, take a big breath in and that's gonna help neutralize that spine if you feel like you're wobbling a little bit. Then exhale with the movement. What you're gonna do is press from palms to the ceiling with the bar out and behind. Looks a bit weird. You've probably not seen anyone do this in the gym, but I promise you, as long as you stabilize, go slow and drive those palms deep towards the ceiling, keeping your arms just before lockout, you'll find that this really, really targets the rear delts. Plus, it also makes you think about that left to right balance because the moment you feel one side working more than the other, you'll feel that complete imbalance kick through the whole body. So it helps you really realize if you've got one leading side over another and you're gonna be able to help correct it. Everybody wants big biceps, but to get big arms, you're gonna have a little bit of control. And weight is not always what's necessary to create a great peak. What I'm gonna show you here is known as the Zotman Curl. The idea of the Zotman Curl is you basically put two movements into one. You're gonna target the bicep and the forearm during this motion, plus it's quite nice on the joints. The idea being, you're gonna curl up with a standard bicep curl, keeping those shoulders back, chest up, rib cage down. As you get to the contraction point at the top, keeping the elbows fixed, we're gonna turn them over, and that turns it now into an overhand curl, and we're gonna fight that eccentric phase all the way down, engaging biceps, triceps, not allowing that shoulder to kick forward, all the way down to the bottom, where we're gonna scoop it back up into that normal bicep curl. Flowing through one to the other, both arms at the same time. This is a fantastic exercise for helping build that peak, plus a little bit of forearm detail. You can't go through a top five without having a bim -ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum -bum -bum chest movement. And today we're gonna to be looking at floor presses. Why are these good? These are good because what they do is allow you to have a very solid, rigid start point. It allows you to really feel left to right. You're gonna work with dumbbells, but you can also do this with a barbell from the floor. Just be careful not to choke yourself to death. The idea is being you're going to set your arms in the start position. From the floor, you're going to explode up squeeze at the top and then fight the eccentric phase of the motion slow all the way down and what you should be aiming for here is to feel each elbow and tricep touch the floor at an equal time if one is hitting the floor before the other that means you are not lifting equally you are not lifting symmetrically from left to right and that is something you need to correct and that is why this exercise is so good it allows you to work through the explosive phase of the outward motion and then on the return on the eccentric phase it's making you think about control and also balance what you'll often find if you have an impingement is the impinged shoulder side which everyone is damaged will drop quicker than the healthy side the reason for that being at the contraction point where the load comes on and the shoulder begins to engage it's disconnecting as quickly as it can to return back that negative so this is a fantastic way of improving your explosive power but also finding those imbalances and correcting them 
Next up, we've got a great back exercise, and that is the Pendele Row. This is an underutilized exercise in the gym, but it's fantastic because what it does is it creates the same kind of tension as heavy rack pulls, but you lose a lot lighter weight, and it's also a dead stop exercise, which makes you maintain form and help keep that chain active. The idea of the Pendele Row is that you're gonna keep a neutral spine, and to aid this, what I tend to do is take a deep breath just before I lift into my belly. And what this does is it helps expand your diaphragm and neutral that spine helping you keep a neutral back throughout this lift you're going to pull this a little bit like a seal row so you're not going to pull to the belly button you're going to pull more towards the sternum or that upper kind of rib cage area we're going to pull through from the elbows keeping the back neutral no swing this is why the exercise is so much harder there is zero upper body motion in this and it is a pure back attack movement so the pendle row one you should definitely definitely be putting into your routine Next up, triceps. This is a great exercise for taking out that weight stack and using your body weight. All you're gonna need is a bar or something similar to this that's gonna support your weight around about nipple height. The idea of this is we're mimicking a skull crusher, but we're using our body weight to do so. But what it also allows us to do, due to the fact that we're flipping the exercise from being on our backs to being on our fronts, we're getting a really deep stretch on that negative. You're gonna grip it about shoulder width apart. You're gonna set your feet back we're gonna lower our body under the bar, and then we're gonna push our body up and out, extending our triceps as we do so. What you want to make sure on this is that you're keeping your elbows tight and you're stopping your butt from kicking up. We want a neutral spine and our glutes engaged to stop those hips kicking back and forward. Get this one right, you should be feeling a nice contraction on that extension and also having to fight to keep that shoulder stability and all core in line and keeping that body neutral so this is a great overall exercise that is really targeted on the triceps so there you have it five movements that you've probably not got in your rotation at the moment that you can immediately put in there and hopefully start seeing some gains that doesn't mean there's only five new exercises you can be trying in fact after this video coming your way is going to be a time under tension tutorial this is going to be something that's going to give you an exercise for every body part to be able to put into your routine that will help you grow without destroying the joints. And if you're injured or impaired or feeling like you're just worn down, it can be a plateau breaker that'll help get you over that hump and onto the next phase of your progression. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up. Hit me in the comment section with any questions you might have and I'll float around in there and try and answer them as best I can. As always, make sure to check the rest of this Undisputed series because the episodes are all coming together. We're trying to tie in that functional training that allows us to maintain that muscle weight whilst getting back into that MMA and boxing lifestyle. So thanks for joining me. I'll catch you in the next episode. I've been Lex. Boom, baby. Lately, I've been doing shit different. Cooking like a chef. I've been all up in the kitchen. Had to make a move. Had to make a little distance. A lot of people tripping. They could never see the vision. Fuck that. Tell them bouncing.